Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our Let's Play of Shantae for the Game Boy Color. As usual, this is Jay from the Unhealthy Alliance, and this time I'm joined by the other half of the team, Mike. I'm late, but I finally made it. Well, uh, we're picking up where I left off. Mike, I just filled you in on what happened, and we just pretty much played the tutorial level, and we were instructed to uh, make our way over to Watertown so we can find out what Risky is after. Oh boy. This guy right here in the middle of town. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, the town you just kind of travel around with kind of a over-the-shoulder camera. View, sure. And you can go in and out of the buildings. But uh, there's also towns people that, you know, pass by and you can talk to them. This guy right here says, I've traveled to Watertown in the east and Oasis Town in the west. Have you visited either of them? So, now we have mm. Watertowns to the east. Hot, and I like the uh, I like how that looks though the uh, the camera panning and whatnot. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It's pretty impressive, especially for Game Boy Color. It was just a little eight bit machine. Yeah, yeah. But uh, th these are just the various uh, buildings in the town. Most of these are common. There's the bathhouse where you can recover your health. Safe nice. room, item shop. I'm gonna stop in the item shop real quick. Oh yeah, you can never go wrong with that. They've got items for sale here, like healing vials, and also magic you can use a limited amount of times, like uh, right here, 20 storm puffs for 25 gems. Absolutely horrible system for item hoarders like myself. I buy stuff and just never end up wanting to use it. I'm just going to grab a single uh, cream. This is like a vanishing cream that lets you kind of go by undetected. <laughs> really? Yeah, but it's only got a pretty limited use, and it doesn't really last long. It's still nice to have around. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that's definitely coming handy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's head out the gates. There you go. So we know that uh, Watertown, the way, place we need to go to, is in the east, but I'm going to take a quick detour over to the west first. This is just a quick detour to pick up an item that I happen to know about ahead of time. Yeah, sure, yeah. You might as well check it out. Why not? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> cool looking enemy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How do you like that? 8-bit green tits. That... <laughs> That's what they are. I mean, let's not... No, they <laughs> are. I mean, ourselves. That... It's, wow. it's they, like the Naga know... Wasteland, and uh, those Nagas pretty much have everything right out in the open. Yeah, they do. They're not holding anything back. No. Nah. I, 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 for one, have to respect that on all, on all counts. I have to. Yeah. Now, right over here, we can see a heart container past this door, but... You can't really do anything about it. Nope, nope. As soon as you get close, it comes down and locks you out. But this is what that vanishing cream was for. Ah, I see. I see. And there we go. <laughs> Just like magic. Yep. So we've got a fourth heart container now, kind of Legend of Zelda style. There, I think the uh, maximum is ten, so they're hidden all around. True, true. Yeah, you're good. This is the one thing I don't like about... Well, there's a couple of things that I've got complaints about, but... <laughs> this is the main one. A lot of enemies have just way too much health. Having a smack of five oh. times to kill it. Well, yeah, I, that's actually quite a lot of damage. I wouldn't think that. Yeah, I think but, it would be less, you're right, yeah. Yeah, but it's actually, it's strange because it gets worse. <laughs> the oh, game, yeah, course, yeah, well, I mean, you've never played the, this game fully on your own, but... No, it's a completely brand new uh, experience for me to even be watching it. Right, I mean, you're probably going to be playing this on your own afterwards, but... Oh yeah, sure. Uh, this game has one kind of system in here where it has day and night transitions. And uh, the nighttime is kind of like Castlevania 2, like on NES, Simon's uh, Quest. Oh, yeah. The enemies get harder. <laughs> it just keeps yeah, elevating and elevating, yeah. Yeah, and this game loves to go into the night transition. <laughs> oh, God. That's one of those things about Castlevania. It just it beat the hell out of me every time. It took, me, it took so much out of me to oh, get yeah. through. Ridiculous. Man. Fuckers. 
These little yeah. bastards, they come up randomly out of the ground and just start throwing spear- Look at that! They're just chucking them away, look at- Just yeah. go- Now you got scarecrows coming out of the background, right in front of you! <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, I'd probably pinch off a loaf in my pants if I saw that coming at me, out of the- <laughs> Just out of- <laughs> Out of nowhere, like that. Very you know? elegant, dude! I'm so, I try to paint, paint it very <laughs> eloquently, yeah. Um, that would bother me a lot, to say the least. And, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Nighttime basically means that all the enemies have double hit points that they did before. Whoops. And uh, when it is night, you'll see some extra things come out, like this little guy. Oh, what's Not up with him? Yeah, well, there are 12 of them. They're fireflies. They only come out at mm. nighttime, and if you catch all 12, uh, you yeah. get a special dance that you can do to recover some health. Oh, cool. But that should work. Yeah, well, that's not really till later in the game. We can see there's another heart container up there too. Mm. We can't do anything about that. No, not quite yet. Can't reach it. <sighs> Mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thing. This is the thing I was talking to you about, man. The nighttime transitions. It, it's just. It loves being in night. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna tap dance all over your endurance, man. That's just what it does. Yeah. I mean, Castlevania, it shaved at least ten years off my life, you know, out <laughs> of anger. Yeah, I don't, it, I don't think this is quite as bad because the jumping... Look at that. Look at all that control I've got with jumps. That is pretty good. It's beautiful. Not bad. Yeah, it is. Your control kind of varies. Uh, one of the main things about this game is that you can get different kinds of animal forms. And uh, you uh, transform into them, and they all kind of handle a little differently. They let you go to different places. Wow, that was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy there. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, when you do, you do that little uh, dancing maneuver to regain health later, uh, how much does it actually give you back? Is it a great deal, or is it just like... <laughs> Here's the thing, it costs money to use. Oh god, how'd I, how'd I know that was coming? I knew it. <laughs> Always a damn catch somewhere. Yeah, when you uh, use the health recovery, I think it costs like 10 gems to recover one ha one heart. Oh. Mm. It's not bad. No, no. It, it could have charged you more, I guess. These statues, they're just save points, so you can use them to get a little mid midway save. Ah, uh, yes. A waterfall area. We'll be coming back to this later, but you can see another firefly, but we can't get to that right now. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna have to wait. <laughs> her, that attacking with her hair, I, it just. I don't know why it makes me think of that god awful song from. Don't uh, say it! Don't! I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> stop it! Don't. You know it. It's, a, no, it's your ringtone. What do you mean, stop? <laughs> My ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just an unwritten rule for anybody yes. that plays this game to not mention that. Oh, God damn yeah. It. Not mention that song. Yes. It, uh, uh, a like, young girl who will remain unnamed performs a certain song that uh, correlates with this attack. And that's all that needs to be said. It's like one and two of Fight Club, dude. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I agree with that completely. Rule one of playing Shantae: Do not talk about that song. <laughs> rule two: Do not fucking talk about that no, song. Absolutely, do not. And rule she three: Made me curse. That see, that well, how strong it is. See, it's a powerful song that evokes emotion. It, granted, it's bad emotion, but it's emotion. It's right? the same emotion that serial killers thrive off. <laughs> You know, funny, when the first time I heard that song, I wanted to thumb someone's eyes in, so... <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, I, I, can, I can agree with that. Oh! God damn it, I forgot Whoa. about the snakes. Yeah. Damn. Come out of holes. That's that's the thing, if you just run around, this game will uh. punch you. Look, I'm down to one heart. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're... I didn't even off. realize it. Thank God I got to here. That would be embarrassing. Well shave. So, here is Watertown. It lives up to the name. Yes, there's a town and there's water. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is Bolo's Gazebo. That's where we want to head over to. Oh, uh, yes. 
And just take a look at this guy. Look at him. Just look at him. He really thinks he's hot shit, doesn't he? He does, actually. Hi, Bolo. I thought I'd find you here. We've got an emergency in Scuttletown. Things have been rather exciting here, too. We just got a visit from the infamous lady pirate, Risky Boots. <laughs> she came here... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Go ahead. Sorry. That just, shit, that's her name. That's her name. Okay. Deal with it, okay. dude. I will. She came here already, and she didn't attack? Fuck. <laughs> Not at all. She just wanted directions to the Dribble Fountain. What? You didn't give them to her, did you? She sure was pretty. <laughs> what? That outfit? Hoo-hoo. He knows well, where it's at. With a name like that, how could she not be? Ah, <laughs> uh, you imbecile. Now I've got to go there. Oh, shoot. Now i got to get there first. I can read. Where is yeah, this got place? It. You probably hmm. passed it on the way here. The aqueduct below it is locked up tight, though. I suppose I could show you how it opens. I suppose. Yeah. He'll, he'll help us begrudgingly. Yeah. I suppose you will. You're in the doghouse as it is. I'll meet you at the Dribble Fountain and you'd better be there. Man, this <laughs> whipped. This guy's hilarious, man. <laughs> this dead eye. Right under control. That's... Yeah, look, it's like he's been <laughs> up for six days on meth or something, man. <laughs> yeah. Since I got my ass handed to me on the way over, I'm just gonna pop in here to the bathhouse for a free health recovery. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, well, you know, why not? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let's head back over to the Dribble Fountain in the next video. Dribble and, Fountain. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we did pass it. You'll recognize it when we get back there. And uh, we'll call it here for now, and when we get back, we'll make the trip back and start our first dungeon. Oh, sounds like a plan. Alright, we'll see you guys later in part three. See ya.